as I say in the Dharma summar summary, so that the world is swept away. To try to sweep it away in your mind. You know the story of John Cha says you get a cup and you have to treat the cup as if it's already broken. But you look after it. You don't break it for that reason, but you have the attitude in mind, well, the cup is already broken. So the time when it comes when the time comes the cup actually breaks, okay, it's nothing new, it's nothing surprising. Same with the ways of the world. Aging, illness, and death are going to come. You might even think, well, they're already here. And then you look at your body and say, well, I still have some time left. I still have some opportunities left. That way you take advantage of the mess for everything else. You just sweep it away, especially right here when you're focusing on your breath. Just sweep through the body. Use the breath to sweep away any sense of discomfort, tension, tightness. And any thoughts that come up about anything else that's not related to the breath, related to the mind right now, okay, just sweep those away as well. That way when those things do get swept away, it's not going to be a surprise. You'll be prepared because you found something better inside. This is one of the contemplations that King Ashoka recommended be chanted every day. What? And that's one of the Buddha's teachings. We're subject to aging, illness, and death. What can I find inside myself that will allow me not to suffer when aging or illness or death come? And you look for that right now. That's the most important thing to look for. As for all your other concerns, just sweep them away, sweep them away. Don't let them clutter up the mind. You want to travel light. So when things do get taken away from you, okay, that's nothing new, it's nothing surprising. Because you've got something inside that nobody can take away. That's when you're really safe. As for the clutter, we tend to think that that's wealth, but it's actually it's, it's a burden. Sometimes we think the more ideas the mind has, the more clever it is. Well, a lot of times it's just having this one idea, the one idea of trying to get the mind to settle down. That's actually of more value. It's like things in a market. If you have lots of things, they don't have much price. If you have only one of those things, it's going to be really expensive and really valuable. People will treat it with as, ha as having worth. So have this one thought in your mind and treat it as having worth. You're going to stay here with the breath. Notice the feeling of the breath as it goes through the body. And see what you can to get interested in. do to get interested in that, as opposed to all the other things that have been cluttering up your mind from outside. Because this is really directly connected with your health of the body, health of the mind, and your ability to bring your mind under control. So hold on to this as you let everything else get swept away. That way you'll be safe.